continue our discussion of uh, Bernoulli differential equations with uh, some solution to problems regarding that uh, differential equation. So first we have y prime plus y is equal to e raised to x times y squared. So this is a Bernoulli differential equation because we have here y squared multiplied to our u of x. Okay, so we can clearly see that. I hope you can clearly uh, identify that this is a Bernoulli differential equation. So if you put this in the differential form, this will be differential y. y differential x is equal to e raised to x y squared differential x. So the first step that we are going to do is to multiply y raised to negative n. So in this case, that would be y raised to negative 2. So this will now become y raised to negative 2 differential y plus, so we have here 1 plus negative 2, that would be negative 1 differential x is equal to e raised to x differential x. So next is uh, we are going to produce the uh, substitution which is we assign we assign z and z is equal to y raised to negative 1. So that is always uh, this uh, factor which is uh, y raised to 1 minus n. Okay. So in this case that is y raised to negative 1. We get the differential of that. So we will have uh, negative 1. Actually, I don't need to write it, no? I'll just have negative of uh, y raised to negative 2, and then differential y. Okay, so now we do the substitution. So we have here y raised to negative 2 differential y. So that is equal to, using the substitution, that will be equal to negative differential z. Okay, and then here you have y raised to negative 1, so that will be z. So this uh, differential x is equal to e raised to x differential x. So we can clearly see here that uh, after we multiply negative 1 to the whole equation, this will now become a linear differential equation, which is uh, linear in z. Okay? So I may continue here. So since uh, we have already put this into a linear differential equation, a standard form of a linear differential equation, we can clearly see that our e of x is equal to negative 1. So therefore, our v, integrating factor, is equal to e raised to the negative of differential x, which is e raised to negative x. Okay? So if we multiply e raised to negative x, I will have e raised to negative x differential z, uh, minus z e raised to negative x differential x is equal to, so I have here e raised to x, and then I have e raised to negative x, so therefore those two will uh, simply cancel out, and this will be is equal to negative differential x. So verify that uh, the left side of our equation is uh, the, simply the differential of e raised to negative x times z, right? So we have e raised to negative x, differential z, and then uh, z, get the differential of e raised to negative x, so that would be e raised to negative x, negative differential x. Okay? So integrating this one would be uh, very easy, right? Change the color. Okay? So this will now become e raised to negative x, e e raised to negative x, z, is equal to negative x plus c. Okay? So let's continue to the uh, next page. e raised to negative x, z, is equal to negative x plus c. So negative x plus c. So that will be e raised to negative x, z, plus x, is equal to c. So the next step is to return the uh, original, return to the original variable which is y. So, we have uh, substituted y is equal to uh, z is equal to y raised to negative 1 or that would also be 1 over y. So if we will uh, go back here, we'll have e raised to negative x over y plus x is equal to c. 
So that would be our final answer. Okay. So we go to our example number two. Let's just put this first in the differential form. We have dy minus uh, 2y differential x is equal to uh, x y cube differential x. So again, this is a uh, Bernoulli differential equation. So first step, we multiply y raised to negative 3. So we have y raised to negative 3 dy minus 2 times uh, y raised to negative 2 differential x is equal to x differential x. So we will apply the substitution z is equal to y raised to negative 2 and obtain that uh, differential z would be equal to negative 2 y raised to negative 3 differential y. Okay. So for uh, simplification, let's uh, first obtain y raised to negative 3 differential y and that would be equal to negative differential z over 2. Okay. So we could uh, directly substitute that here. And we'll have differential z over 2, negative differential z over 2, no? and then minus 2 times z differential x is equal to x differential x. So let's multiply negative 2 to both sides of the equation. So this will now become differential z plus uh, 4z differential x is equal to negative 2x differential x. Okay? So what we can see here is this is already linear in linear in uh, z, and we have p of x is equal to uh, four, just four. Okay, so b is equal to e raised to uh, four differential x. So that will be equal to e raised to four x, our integrating factor. So if we multiply e raised to four x, we'll have e raised to 4x differential z plus we have 4z so 4 4z e raised to 4x differential x okay equal to negative 2 negative 2 x e raised to 4x differential x okay so let me just uh, double check so we multiply e raised to 4x. Okay, everything seems good. Okay, so let's verify first that uh, the left side of our equation is the differential of e raised to 4x times z. Huh? So first we have e raised to 4x differential z following the product rule and then z e raised to 4x, differential of 4x is 4 differential x. So we have z, e raised to 4x, 4 differential x, and we have here e raised to 4x differential z. So we have produced that. No? So the left side of the equation becomes, uh, let's just put z first, e, z, e raised to 4x. Now, that would be easily integrated, and this one will be negative 2, integral of x e raised to 4x differential x okay so this is easily integrated well this one let's uh, do a separate solution first here no? because here you have to put this into uh, integration by parts okay so by integration let's uh, first isolate x e raised to 4x dx and solve it by integration by parts so Remember that integration by parts, you have the integral of v du is equal to uv minus integral of u dv. Okay, so let's just say our v is x, so therefore the differential of uh, v is simply differential x, and uh, our du is the integral of e raised to 4x dx. So if we integrate this one, uh, we'll have 1 fourth e raised to 4x okay so we continue u times v is uh, equal to 1 fourth x e raised to 4x minus u dv so 
So u times uh, differential v, you have one fourth integral of e raised to four x differential x. So finally, this will be one fourth x e raised to four x minus. So we have here again our u as four x. So the differential is four differential x. So this will become one over sixteen e raised to four x. Okay. So if we multiply that here, now the uh, the left side we have here negative two. Don't forget about that. We have there negative two. So if you multiply that, no, I'll just uh, multiply two negative two times. I'll write it here. Para hindi ko makalimutan. One fourth x e raised to four x minus one over sixteen e raised to four x. So this will produce. We change the pen color. So we have negative two times one fourth. That's uh, negative one half. X e raised to four x. This will be positive uh, one over eight e raised to four x. Okay. So let's just finalize our answer. We have z e raised to four x is equal to negative one half x e raised to four x. Negative one half x e raised to four x, and then one eight the e raised to four x plus one eight e raised to four x plus c. Okay, so if we transpose, this will become uh, z e raised to four x plus one half x e raised to four x minus one eight e raised to 4x is equal to c and then last we return the substitute we return the uh, variable to its original uh, which is y and uh, our y is our z is equal to y raised to negative 2 so we'll have uh, y raised to negative 2 e raised to 4x plus 1 half x e raised to 4x minus 1 8 e raised to 4x is equal to c. We can still simplify this by uh, multiplying 8. So we have 8 y raised to negative 2 e raised to 4x plus 4x e raised to 4x minus e raised to 4x is equal to c. And then finally, let's just uh, factor out e raised to 4x. Okay, So we have uh, 8 y raised to negative 2 plus uh, 4x minus 1 is equal to c. And that is our final answer. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, thank you for watching.